Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy. Today is December 16th and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update for Samsung One UI 7.0 beta and this is beta 2. The version ends with ZXL5 with the size of 1083 megabytes and we're still on that December 1st security patch. So we don't have to take a look at that stuff at the end of this video. Really, we're only looking at what is happening with this update right here. Now, a lot of this stuff is really mostly just bug fixes. So they fixed continuous display error and malfunction after closing the now bar. Basically what they're talking about there is that I have YouTube that was running earlier. I completely closed out of YouTube, but you can still see it down here as a now bar little widget. Now here's the other thing that's interesting. If I tap on this, it's gonna open up my YouTube music. So YouTube music is something that I was also using before as well, and it's still showing up. So even though you close out of some applications, they will still show up on the now bar. The other issue is right here, because my now bar is expanded, it's trying to not only show off that expanded now bar, but it's also trying to show off my two little applications or actions on the bottom left and the right. You can see that I have my sound mode. I also have my flashlight. So what'll happen is like right now it's going to look normal, but if I was to expand this, you can see that those little circles are now gone, even though these applications have already been closed. I even did force stop and they would still show up on my now bar. And with it being expanded, if I go back and take a look at it, those icons are there. So I'm really hoping that this update right here will actually fix those issues. So I just want to kind of show you off just a few things of what is actually happening with this update. If you do want to take a look at another area of what they're talking about with this update, if you go inside of your Samsung members application, if you're running the beta software, on the very top right hand side, you have this little megaphone and it's giving you announcements and details. So you can see that the first beta came out on December 5th. And here is December 16th. This is the second beta. Again, this is just giving you the details. So in this video, we will install this thing. And I'm also going to take a look at a few new versions of Samsung applications and services. But instead of me reading that boring change log, I'm going to go to this article here from Sammy fans. They actually just took the change log and then they gave a descriptor right after each and every one of these. So the reduced display errors, the annoying glitch where the now bar wouldn't go away after you close it has now been fixed. When you close the now bar, it stays closed until you call it back for app visuals. There was a small issue with how apps in the personal drawer were shown, which has now been sorted out. Everything should look the way it should. And I'm also hoping that when it comes down to the whole application tray as well. So when I swipe up, this is the new one. This is where it's vertical. Everything is alphabetical order. My hope is that if we were to go over into this whole sort thing, we go to custom order, uh, we got back our left and right. So we have our horizontal change of the, the, the tray, but it's not in alphabetical order. My hope is that if we go here after this update and then I go to like sort or clean up pages and I do the option of, you know, alphabetical or whatever. Um, I mean, if I go back to alphabetical order, order it just takes me back to, to vertical. I want to have, if I wanted to, uh, if I go to custom order and I want to have all these applications here, I want to have an option to alphabetize this portion. So this way, if you do want to have your horizontal look of your app tray, then you'll have the option to actually get it in, in you know, customized order. So we'll see if that has been, you know, fixed with this update. Underneath connectivity and functionality, uh, if you were having trouble connecting your phone to some TV models using DeX, that has been fixed. You should now be able to enjoy a smoother wireless experience. Widget transparency, the, the reminder widget wasn't playing nice with transparency settings before. Now you'll need to update the app to see the transparency effects properly. Performance enhancements, app switching. So switching between apps on the recent screen should feel faster and smoother now. No more waiting around. I didn't really have issues with that. So who knows, maybe it's a little bit smoother and quicker after this update. Edge panel, if you're using the edge panel for smart select, you'll notice that it's quicker to get into now. Power saving, there has been an issue where switching to power saving mode might reset some settings. This has been improved. GPS accuracy, GPS functionality has been enhanced, which means better location tracking for when you're navigating or using location-based services. User interface and control, the quick panel. Quick panel where you access quick settings should work without errors now, and I've never had a problem with that. Game Booster, you can now set your screen's refresh rate within the Game Booster settings, giving you smoother gameplay or better battery life depending on your preferences. Call and messaging, uh, problems with calls dropping or the Samsung messaging app crashing has been addressed. Your communication should be more reliable now, and I haven't had any issues with that, so it sounds like some may have. 
So now that we took a look at what was all kind of new, I already wrote down some of these applications and services in terms of their version numbers. So with this now, we will hit on install. And then when this thing turns right back on, then we'll take a look at, you know, how has this update, you know, actually affected the phone? Is it more smooth now? Is some of the issues that I was running into, has it been fixed as it's been stating here with this change log? So we will actually open up YouTube and also YouTube music. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of it and I'm going to make sure that that now bar has been moved and gone and not showed up until it is called back in. Also, same thing when it comes down to the application tray, hopefully maybe there's been a little change there too. So yeah, it is nice that you can have it vertical and it's nice that you can go horizontal, but if I'm in horizontal mode, I also want it to be alphabetized. And if that hasn't been fixed to this point, hopefully it will be addressed in the future. So it's usually at this point in the video that if your brand's new here at the Challenge of Me is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now with the update complete, how about we take a look at Nowbar just to make sure that all of the issues has been fixed. So first off, let's go through, let's watch a video. And now once we close out of this thing, we go into the lock screen, it's showing up as the now bar on the very bottom. So how about we open this up and take a look at another problem or bug or glitch. And that was where if this thing was expanded and it turned off, the next time that I turned it on, it was trying to push through my quick settings or those applications, you know, that was on the lock screen. So the circles that was on the left and the right has now is now gone. So at least that portion is fixed. Also, if we actually go back inside of this YouTube application here, and if we were to just completely close out of it, it's supposed to also be gone on our now bar. So there we go. Looks as if that whole bug and glitched has been fixed. We're going to do it one more time just inside of music just to make sure it wasn't just YouTube itself. So again, the now bar is supposed to show up on the bottom. Let's say that I wanted to expand it and let's say that the screen turns off. I turn it back on. Those circles are not, you know, showing up. It's because it's these two right here trying to show up in between there. So uh, again, let's close out of YouTube music really quick just to make sure everything is good. So if I was to hit pause there, and then I wanted to close all, here we go, and it's gone. So there we go. Bar now, or the now bar, has been fixed. Now another thing that I also want to take a look at, they mentioned something about the edge panel when it comes down to smart select, where smart select is a little bit quicker for it to actually kind of, you know, to start its use. So it looks as if it was a little bit quicker than before. So it used to be where... This little loading section that you see right here was actually a little bit longer. It was almost twice as long, to be honest. So it looks as if this one was fixed here too. But here's the here's the thing that I'm noticing with this bar. So there used to kind of be this like glossy, shiny type of blue sparkly effect. So like this line that you see was the color of this bar down here. You can actually kind of see it really quick at the beginning. You see how it changes color? So it goes from that kind of shiny bar to this dull gray. It's kind of like a solid gray now. So this color that you kind of saw beforehand was closer to what it was from beforehand. Now they really made it to where maybe it's easier to see these icons. I don't know. I kind of liked it when it was kind of looking like this, like that little line, like next, like this, like this, this blue area, like that's those stars. This stuff is what it used to look like down here. So now they made it into this full solid gray bar but you can kind of see the color change. So maybe that's what they're trying to do. Maybe with animations, they maybe they wanted to show an animation from a color and then go straight to a, a solid gray. But the original color of what it looked like when you're using it was, you know, in between that first color you see, uh, and then also this little line right there, like that bluish portion of it. That was what this used to look like. So they, they, they definitely did update that portion as well. Then they were also talking about, you know, all of the, uh, the recent applications talking about how it's more smooth now and it doesn't matter if you're using you know uh, 0.5x when it comes down to the transitions or if you're using the the 1x so sometimes I take down my, my scales when it comes down to my animations just because I don't need all the flair I don't need animations I'd rather just go somewhere even though the animations look great so yeah it looks as if also too uh, the, the quick panel is looking really good. So looks as if all of the, the bugs that they were mentioning that they were going to fix with this one, looks as if they definitely did it. We're going to go look really fast just to make sure if there's anything that I also want to take a look at. Uh, oh, also I do want to take a look at the application tray. So here's the application tray. This one is vertical. It is in alphabetical order. You can switch this one over into custom order. Custom. Yeah. It means that you can move these applications and folders around, but I would also like to have an option for alphabetical. 
So you can see that's definitely not alphabetical. If it, even if I hit on clean up pages, all it does is it just puts all the pages into one. So you don't have multiple pages. They, you know, they condense it. Uh, but there is no option here for sorting that portion into alphabetical, which is what I really want. Because some people, you know, if you don't want to have vertical and you want to use horizontal for some reason, maybe it's just easier to get into and get out of. Uh, you want to also have this alphabetized rather than you having to manually do it. So hopefully this will be a change in the future because if they are able to go alphabetical vertically, they should be able to go alphabetical when you go horizontally. So it looks as if a lot of the bugs and fixes are there, um, you know, in terms of actually getting them fixed. Uh, I kind of wish that they added in the alphabetical, but that's okay. How about we now take a look at some of these Samsung applications and services to see what was updated with this update here. You know, some of the stuff that wasn't really mentioned a part of it. Samsung Home should be updated. Before the update, it was 16000183. It is 16000203. So it looks as if the Samsung Home has been fixed. Let's take a look at camera. Even though it didn't mention anything about camera, we'll just still take a look at it. The version before used to be 15.0.0.1.5.4, 15.0.0.1.6.5. So looks like a new version of Samsung camera. Then we'll also take a look at the edge panel, which uh, for some reason I maybe think edge panel could be very similar to Samsung Home, but you know, because you know they kind of work together. But anyways, edge panels, the version before this was 16.0.0.0.1.8.3. This one's now 16000203, and I'm noticing uh, my hunch could be correct because this is the exact same version number of Samsung Home. I don't know if they just kind of coincide and it's a coincidence that they're the exact same numbers before and after this update, but it looks as if the version numbers are matching Samsung Home and Edge panels. So we'll see in the future if those ever, you know, go different of each other. Now we'll take a look at Samsung Gallery. For the gallery before the update, it was 160046. 1560049. So looks like we have a new version of the Samsung Gallery as well. Now we'd be able to take a look over inside of Samsung Home just to see if there was anything that I was missing. Now that I took a look at everything that I wanted to take a look at and everything that, you know, should have been fixed, looks as if it has been fixed so far. So, you know, the malfunction of now bar, yep, has been fixed. When it comes down to display error, personal drawer uh, application. So maybe if there's a personal app or something, I don't know what happened. I didn't have a problem with that. I just want to have alphabetical when it comes down to the whole custom you know, application tray. Fixed issue of not being able to connect to some Samsung TVs wirelessly through DeX. So I don't really use DeX, but I'll just uh, take them for the word that it was fixed. Fixed problem where the reminder widget transparency has also been applied. Uh, transition between applications on the recent screen. I haven't had any problems, but uh, you know, it is smooth. It's already pretty quick for me. So maybe if you did have a problem with it, at least it has been fixed. It's looking good on my end, at least after this update. Improved entry speed for Smart Select. Yep, we just took a look at that. Looks like that one is looking good. Uh, power saving mode. I've turned mine on a few times, but I never had problems with it where it was changing some of my settings. Uh, because in some of my videos, I was showing off power saving mode where the leaf was actually moved into the battery. So again, no problems there for me, at least. If you did run into it, hopefully it's fixed for you. Uh, added option to set uh, the screen refresh rate within the game booster. Fixed call termination in Samsung message app issues. So I haven't, haven't had any problems with calls or text messaging, but if you did, it looks as if it should be fixed here because for some of the stuff that I noticed that was having problems, I am seeing them being fixed. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show off in this video here everything that was talked about of what was bugged before has yes now been fixed but please in the future samsung if you're watching and listening with the application tray if it is able to be in alphabetical order vertically I also want to have it uh, alphabetized horizontally as well but hopefully you guys have appreciated this video if you did give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later